Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Irene and today I'll show you how to make gift gnomes out of socks. They are adorable and easy to make and you can either add them to a main gift or use them as a gift as they are. The first and perhaps the simplest option is a bottle topper gnome. To make it you'll need socks, preferably men's socks as they are usually longer. Take a sock, I have a green one here, and put it on a bottle so that it holds well. Tightening it with a strong thread on top and cut off the excess. Now cut out two squares from the rest of the sock. These will be the gnome arms. Roll the fabric and hot glue or saw the edges. You can make a gnome's beard from a variety of materials. The most budget-friendly option is to use yarn. I'll show this one on one of the following gnomes. I've seen it made out of a dolly tree mop, but the fastest way is to use fur. Here I've decided to use what I already had and so I'll use a fur hood trim, which I don't wear. I'm ripping off the fur and cutting out a beard from it. You'll find the links for all of the pattern that I'll use today in the description box as usual. I'll make a hat from another sock. Here I've wanted a burgundy one because the norm is for a bottle of red wine. I found only short socks of this color, so I'm cutting the hat out of the toy part. But it will be better using long men's socks here as well. Then the hat will look nicer and you'll be able to drape it beautifully. Cut off one edge obliquely to make a long triangle, turn it inside out and either hot glue or saw the edges. Now let's make mittens. I'm cutting them out of a piece of suitable burgundy fabric. You'll need four parts like that. Sew two parts in pairs, wrong sides up. Here I think hand stitching is the easiest option. And turn them inside out. I'm making a nose for the gnome out of tights. Here you can also use flesh-colored jersey fabric or even buy flesh-colored pom-poms. I'll show this option later as well. And I'm taking a piece of tights. I prefer making two layers so that the stuffing doesn't show through. I'm stitching an oval, placing the stuffing in the middle and tightening the thread. Then I'm cutting off the excess and the nose is ready. I'll make the arms for all the gnomes today with wire inserts so that you can pose them as you want. For this I'll use pipe cleaners, any wire thick enough to keep its shape will do here. I'll use two pipe cleaners at once to hold the shape better. I'm wrapping some stuffing around the edges of the pipe cleaners and putting on the sleeves. By the way, you can glue the fabric directly on the wire, it's much quicker. I'm also stuffing the mittens a little so they keep their shape and placing them onto the arms. And next you want to hot glue or sew the mittens to the arms. Now we can finish the assembly. I'm hot gluing the beard. the nose and the hands. Here it's better to place the wire behind the bottle, of course, but I didn't have enough wire length to wrap it like that. And finally the hat. To give it the desired shape you can add some stuffing inside, although even without stuffing it looks good. And you can decorate the hat to your liking. I'm going to make grapes, as this is the wine now. I'll make a leaf out of green ribbon. I'm folding two pieces of about 6 inches in half and cutting them to get an angled tip. Then I'm sewing the tips together and outlining a zigzag pattern symmetrically on both sides of the resulting angle. And then I'm gathering the ribbon on a thread along the markup and tightening it. I'm not a great concession specialist, so I'll just leave you the link with the instruction which I'm following. I think it's even easier to follow the images here. 
I'm sewing the ends of the ribbons together and here we go. I'm making a bunch of grapes out of plastic pearls, assembling them on a wire. First I'm assembling a couple of rings out of beads, one smaller and another one larger, and then I'm just adding bead by bead here and there until I get the shape I like. I'm attaching the embellishments to the head. And I'm hot gluing the head around the entire circumference to make the edge of the head creep over the nose and also to hide the upper parts of the arms. Well, and in the very end I've decided to add another grape bunch. You can add this adorable gnome topper to a bottle of wine or a homemade lemonade and use it as a Christmas or a Thanksgiving gift or a birthday gift. I kept it quite simple, but of course you can decorate it with beads and flowers and little bows and so on. The second gnome I'll make is a very serious man, a viking. For the base I'll use a brown sock, here you can use any neutral color like grey or black. In order for the gnome to sit well, you want to fill the sock with something heavy, like sand or small pebbles. I didn't have anything like that on hand, so I'll use buckwheat as a filler. You can also use rice. Stuff the sock till you get a weighty fatty bag, this is to about the level of the heel of the sock. Tie with a strong thread and cut off the excess. A real viking should be red-haired, so this time I'll make a beard out of yarn. I'm winding a rather big skein of over my palm, removing and tightening it and then cutting it in half on the opposite side. I'm following the same steps with a smaller skein to make the moustache. To make the beard fluffier, best is to unweave all the threads. Of course you can leave it as it is, but it will look better unwoven, so I'm pulling all the threads to make them look more like real hair. The bonus of this method is that the viking will become curly. At the very end I'm combing the beard and the moustache to fluff the threads even more. I'm hot gluing the beard and the moustache on the bag of buckwheat and then I'm giving him a haircut. I'm making the moustache tips pointed and rolling them a little with my fingers and I'm giving the beard a rounded shape like a shovel. I'm making a nose from a piece of tights the same way as I did for the first gnome. And I'm hot gluing it onto the base. Next I'll make a hat. It consists of four wedges, it's better to make it from faux, leather or suede or from felt. I'll use a glove bought at Dollar Tree. I'm sewing the wedges together, connecting the pointed tips in the middle. I'll make the mittens out of the same material. You can use the mittens pattern from the first gnome and since there was not enough material in the glove, I've just cut off the fingers from it to be the mittens. And also I've sewn small thumbs and I've hot glued them onto these mittens. I'll decorate the mittens with fluffy trim. This was originally a cuff on the gloves that I used for the hat and the mittens. You can use fleece or anything fluffy here. I'm cutting off a strip of fur about an inch wide and hot gluing it to the edge of the mittens. I'm cutting out two squares from the leftover part of the sock and making the arms, just like for the bottle gnome. I'm wrapping the tips of the pipe cleaners with stuffing, wrapping it in sock fabric pieces, tucking and hot gluing the edges and finally putting on and hot gluing the mittens. I'm pulling the hat onto the gnome's head, pulling it over his nose and hiding the arms upper parts. To finish the hat I will use beige for suede. 
I'm cutting out two strips about an inch wide and four parts for the horns. I'm folding the horns in pairs and sewing them together. Then I'm turning the finished parts inside out and stuffing them tightly so that the horns keep their shape well. Here you can also make them out of polymer clay, for example. Then I'm folding the strips and hot gluing the edges. As a result, the strip will be about half an inch wide. You can also replace it with a ribbon of suitable width and color. I'm hot gluing one strip onto the seam of the hat across the head like this. Then I'm hot gluing the horns on top and hiding the seams with fur strips. I'm making holes in the second strip of suede and attaching bronze brads, keeping the same distance between them. And I'm attaching it onto the hat, going from the nose to the back of the hat, hiding the second seam. The viking is almost ready. I'm hiding the bottom edge of the hat under another strip of suede with brads, and that's it. Such a gnome will be a great addition to a shaving gift basket, especially if you pick all the items in vintage style and arrange the whole gift in a biking theme. And if your gift recipient has a beard, you can add a beard comb here or some care products. I found a shampoo called Biking and of course you can also add this gnome to a beer basket. I'll leave the links to the products I found to make such gifts. I hope this will be of use. The next gnome is a gift for a gardener. I'm starting with socks as usual. This time I'll use beige and green ones. Fill it with sand or rice, as for me I continue using stalks of buckwheat. Fill the sock to about a level of a heel and tie it off. Cut off the excess. I've decided to make this gnome red headed too, so I'm making a beard from the yarn. Here it's pretty much the same as with the previous one. I'm winding a thick skein, tying and cutting it in half. And I'm also making a moustache and fluffing the yarn well. I'm hot gluing the finished beard and the moustache to the base and giving it the desired shape, making the moustache pointed and cutting the beard like a shovel. I'm hot gluing the nose, this time I'm using a pom-pom. I'm making two squares out of the rest of the sock for the arms. I'm winding a little stuffing on the pipe cleaners. and attaching the pieces of this sock onto the pipe cleaners. I'll sew a hat and mittens for this gnome from Velvety Green Jersey. I'm cutting out all the parts And I'm sewing the hat and the mittens. The patterns here are very simple, you just want to sew to parts in pairs. I'm turning the mittens inside out, stuffing them a little and putting them onto the arms. I want to make this hat folded, so first I'll make a frame for it out of pipe cleaners. I'm twisting four wires together and making a kind of a pyramid out of them. 
I'm bending the tips at about 3 inches from the bottom and attaching the tips to the place of bending of the adjacent wires. And I'm inserting the resulting frame into the head. Additionally, I'm stuffing it a little to give it a nice shape. I'm hot gluing the mittens to the arms and hot gluing the arms to the base. And dressing the gnome in a hat. Since this is the garden gnome, I'll decorate it with flowers and leaves. I've wound roses from thin ribbons by gathering them onto a thread. You can also use ready-made artificial flowers for decorating here. I'm winding the lift ribbon around the hat. I'll leave the link to it in the description box below as well. And I'm hot gluing the flowers on it and finally giving the gnome a little shovel. This one is from a miniature set of tools, I'll leave the link for it as well, but you can also make a miniature shovel yourself. All that is left is to assemble the gift set. I've used a clay pot as a gift container here. I'm planting the gnom in it and supplement it with gardening gloves and some seeds. To arrange them nicely, I'm hot gluing the seeds onto wooden skewers. You can also add flower bulbs here. As you can see, the set is really simple and inexpensive, but looks really cute. You can make seedling plates and decorate the pot if you wish. For a gardener, this is a great idea, I think. I would love to get such myself. Finally, I'll show a slightly more complex option, the French chef now. I'll start with the sock again. I'm filling it with buckwheat, tying it up and cutting off the excess. This gnome will not have a beard, only a moustache. I'm cutting it out of long piled fur, the shape of the moustache halves looks like leaves. Make sure that the pile direction on the fur goes along the axis of the leaf. I'm hot gluing the halves of the moustache and the pom pom nose onto the base. I'm cutting out the simple apron from the checkered cotton, a rectangle and a belt for it. I'm hemming the rectangle, folding the belt in half and sewing the apron into it. The chef's hat consists of two parts. The circle end is the base of the hat and the rectangle is the bottom part, or whatever the cooks call it. And I'm cutting out the mittens from the same fabric. I'm gathering the circle onto a thread. I like it more when it's not just gathered, but folded, so I'm making little folds along the entire circumference. You want the folded circle to match the bottom part. Here you want the folded circle to match the bottom part. Finally, I'm attaching the top to the bottom part. I'm folding the rectangle in half and sewing it in a ring. I'm sewing the mittens just as I did for the other gnomes and I'm also making the arms just as before. I'm cutting out two squares from the remnants of the sock, sewing them into tubes and pulling them onto the pipe cleaners. Here I've decided to leave the shoulders exposed, so I'm tightening the tubes around the wire on the inside. Here I've used the upper part of the sock, which is hemmed. 
Then I'm turning them inside out and stuffing the arms. Now we can assemble the knob. I'm stuffing the mittens and pulling them onto the arms. And I'm hot gluing the arms onto the base. I'm dressing the knob in the apron. And here is the hat. I'm stuffing the base a little so that the hat keeps its shape well and hot gluing the edges onto the knob. By the way, my hat is rather narrow. If you want it to fit over the gnome's nose, then make the bottom part a bit wider. And the final touch, I'm giving the gnome a wooden spatula in his hand. Such a gnome will be a wonderful addition to any kitchen utensils little gift, like a kitchen towel or a mug or dishes, or you can also add such a gnome to any edible gift, even a box of chocolates accompanied by this adorable chef will look amazing. Well, I hope you liked today's ideas. By the way, you can go further and make professional or themed gnomes by dressing them accordingly and giving them little accessories, like, say, making a teacher gnome or a student gnome by dressing him in a graduation gown and cap and the glasses and giving him a book, or a doctor gnome by dressing him in a white gown and giving him a tiny stethoscope. I think this is such a cute idea and such a cute gift for anyone. Please let me know what other professional or themed gnomes you you would like me to make and maybe I'll make another video on this subject. Thanks for being here and we'll see you in my next video. Bye!